be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back. The bangers. We're bangers. Now today's video, we're going to be actually be going over if Omnisphere is worth the $500 price that they put on Omnisphere. All right. Is it worth, um, you know, the $500, you know what I'm saying? So you save that $500 and put it on something else, another VST, Sam Bank, or whatever, or is that gonna be the best $500 you're ever gonna spend? We're gonna get into it in this video. So let's go ahead and jump in. First things first, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and create a software instrument track, and under instrument, I'm gonna go down here to AU Instruments, and we're gonna go over here to Spectronics, okay? So this is where, Spectronics is the company that makes Omnisphere. Okay, and for those who are brand new, you might be, you know, hearing this word Omnisphere, you know, pop up and st stuff like that. Basically, Omnisphere has thousands and thousands of sounds. These all record, record, uh, represent folders, okay? Um, this is a folder that has all of the sounds in it. Okay, and then, then we have these um, other sounds here. Now, I own Omnisphere. I went ahead and I coughed up the $500. So I know firsthand about the sounds. Now, me personally, I do think that they have some dope sounds. Um, I like the guitars. Let's like take a look at some of these. So they have some real good sounding um, instruments in here real realistic on some of these so you know You know everything is pretty much set up the right way as far as you know the realistic aspect of things now the question is then going to become like okay is it worth it so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go ahead and click on uh you know creating a new software instrument track and we're actually going to pull up this sound bank we're going to pull up a couple sound banks we're going to pull up alchemy okay so i'm going to pull one uh up here um and then we're also going to pull up our default um bank here we'll go for for a default patch so the default patch is going to have a lot of your more realistic uh you know your realistic sounds so say your guitar so we can go in here and see the difference here if it's going to be worth it as far as some of these like guitars we can also come over here and grab some guitars here too, because we have a, still got 161 presets on the guitars um, over here. You know, it's not a lot, but these are quality sounds. So let's just check this out. Um, this is gonna be the acoustic guitar uh, stock sound with Logic. So that's that one. Let's see. Um, a basic acoustic guitar here. This is a figure style one, so maybe. So, you know. So far, that's, that looks like it beats that to me. Um, let's check out, um, let's check this one out.
You know what I'm saying? So at least with guitars, I think, you know, um, this to me wins. Let's check out some other ones, you know. Um, check out these organs. So let's go over here to Logic Sound Bank. And go to where's the organs at, man? So this is a whole lot more louder, you know what I'm saying? And don't pay attention to, to too much to the actual, if it's coming in red or not. Just listen to the sound and you'll see. You know what I'm saying? Um, these are more quality sounds. I'm not going to lie to you. So like I, you, this is the thing about it, right? Can I still achieve this same sound? Yeah, but you're gonna have to put some pl plugins on here. So, so if right here, you just hand me hell to 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 get this same sound. I'm gonna have to still come on over here to the audio effects. I'm gonna have to have, have already purchased stuff like the RC20 or come over here uh, to the Isotope and get this vinyl plugin. I think they're still free. But you know, you still have to come over here and do that. You know what I'm saying? Turn that warp up song. So, you know, you got to do that. You know, then you, of course, you're going to want to also put uh, some reverb on here. So that's, that's the, our version of this hammy hell. Let's see. Then I would still have to come over here and take some of the highs out of the lows out of this. Then I still have to come over here and put some type of a distortion on this. You know what I mean? Um, So hopefully that's answering the question of this. Like these sounds are gonna be more robust. Um, all of the plugins that you would use to, you know, create something new have already been applied over here. They've run these sounds through the best of the best, you know, to get this, the best preamps, the best, all of that. Um, one thing I do not like about this though, it does have a lot of sounds, but one thing I do like do not like about this is when it comes to the pianos, okay? So like I mean, the keyboard, you know, I don't even have, you have to get a whole nother sound pack to really find a piano. You know, you had to go through all of this. Like they have a lot of cool stuff, but I'm just looking for a regular grand piano and I have to upgrade to a whole nother expansion pack just to get some solid pianos in here. So yeah, don't get me wrong. These piano sounds are hard, but you know, say if I want something more basic, I have to search through here. And that's uh, another thing that can be a little daunting is like searching uh, through all these sounds, man, just to find what's hot and what's not. Um, a way around that is actually to go ahead and get preset banks, okay? So pre preset banks is when, you know, another producer or engineer has already done the work for you, going through the sounds, tweaking them up, and, you know, making them so they fit your genre. Um, Superstar O did a brilliant job of that. 
I got this uh, kit right here and he has a bunch of different, you know. as well but I mean if say if you're just really just trying to go in here on your own it can be daunting because some of these things has like thousands of sounds you know what I'm saying hundreds of sounds right over here but it pretty much has everything you could think of um, except for the basics you know what I mean the basic stuff you can't find really a, a, a super basic you know live bass you feel me you have to you have to literally gotta go ahead and get an expansion pack um, for certain things so that's the only thing I don't like about Omnisphere. Now, I would say that if you're tight on money or if you're like, man, you know, you can't just super go ham on your studio right now, go ahead and save that $500 until you, you know, you can spare, you can, you know, afford to just spare it. You know what I mean? Because you could still, there's still a whole lot going on um, right here within, um, you know what I'm saying, alchemy. Uh, look at this. This is, 3,500 presets. So this might not be 3,000 or 30,000 sounds or whatever, but that's still a lot of sounds. You know what I'm saying? These are all sounds. 3,500 sounds. So this, this is a whole lot you can do with this and you can come over here and manipulate this. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Obviously on Omnisphere, you can manipulate that too. You know, there's a whole lot of stuff you can do with Omnisphere. You understand? But we haven't even even begin to get into all this you know like have, you know you have different um plugins that you can put on here and you create your own presets and you know it is it just gets wacky and wild at this point um how much this can you know really do you can come over here and you know really tweak things out uh so i'm just gonna say it's gonna be based on your budget for sure man you dig what i'm saying but the sounds do sound a whole lot a whole lot better um, depending on what you're looking for, man. If you're just looking for something different, out normal, you know, everybody's going to be obviously using the stock uh, sounds within Logic, the stock sound banks. One of the good thing about uh, using Omnisphere is that it does have a higher price point, which means that most people, you know, are not going to have it. You know, most professional people are going to have it, but like this, your common everyday, everyday guys, uh, produ producers are probably not going to have Omnisphere. So your beats are going to sound a step above if you grab this Omnisphere compared to just using, uh, you know, you know, the stock sound banks. And as you, you saw in a previous example, I had to add certain plugins, which also cost money. It can add up, you know, whatever to get certain sounds that sound, make it even sound somewhat similar. So that's, those are my thoughts on, on this, man, is, is basically the answer to this question is go ahead and it, if your pockets can afford for you to, to just throw $500 towards some sound, a sound bank, do it. If you feel like, you know, you know, you can, you're very creative and you can layer sounds on your own and, and you know, I'm a type of, come from the type of school point of, uh, you know, do your best with what you have, master what you have first. And once you max that out, then move up. You feel me? So I've been working with Logic for years um, before I went ahead and copped the Omnisphere. You know what I mean? Just to see what they're all about. And honestly, even with Omnisphere, I'm really scratching the surface. I don't even, you know, I haven't used all these sounds. I haven't made a beat with every single sound in here. Look at all this. Look at all this. This is one thing. This is Retro Land. <laughs> thing again you can come over here and you know play around with certain things here yeah, so you know the sounds are you know you're gonna have a better uh, experience with this 
you know, you'll have more sounds that you can go through compared to the alchemy. But yeah, man, don't sleep. For sure, don't sleep. Because alchemy has some bangers too. You dig what I'm saying? Let me let me find one of the bangers here. And over all these uh, Omnisphere sounds, the preamps on it or whatever they use, um, yeah, you know, this just comes in a whole lot more, uh, comes in better. use the best of the best of the reverbs the best of the best of you know any type of processors and you know whatever uh to get these sounds so yeah i mean if you can afford it go ahead and go with the atmosphere you know if you can't or if you, you know it's not necessary to make bangers i've made plenty of banging beats without atmosphere so yeah, man. Um, anyway, get subscribed to the channel. I want y'all to leave y'all thoughts below, too. Just based on a little bit of a sound comparison I was doing here, what do y'all think? Do you think that the atmosphere is a little bit more, way way more robust? Uh, you know, do you feel like it's all, you know, a whole lot better as far as the sounds and everything and the quality of the sounds? Um, leave that all in the comment section below. Also, make sure that you check out my website, beatmakingbasics.com. We got a lot of great deals going on and a lot of great specials. Um, I have an uh, awesome opportunity for you to get every sound kit and course on the on the whole site um, for a real good bundle deal price. All you have to do is click the links below and you'll get you know sent right on over there. You can check that out, see what we got going on on the site. Um, you can also do a one-on-one -on -one service if you need it. You know, we have a whole lot of different things over there, man. So if you don't do anything else, get subscribed to the channel. And without further ado, we're out. Appreciate you.